Hello Collective, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. Please um, remember that these will be general messages. Everything won't resonate. Take what is for you and leave the rest. Also, time is fluid. This can be past, present, or future energy. And masculine and feminine energy can be switched. Roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. Okay, guys? So with that being said, let's hop into the messages, okay? So somebody could be trying to start something with you, provoke you, make you angry. Somebody, um, this could be done by lying on you. You may find out somebody's lying on you or somebody's just doing it behind the scenes. You may know or you may not know, okay? You probably don't care. But um, I got the song, Gotta Be Starting Something by Michael Jackson, okay? And the part that I was drawn to was, uh, y'all know, I, I gotta sing it. I can't not sing Michael Jackson, okay? <laughs> so, whew. Someone's always trying to start my baby crying. Talking, squealing, lying. Say you just want to be starting something. You gotta be starting something. Want to be starting something. Okay, so yeah, somebody's just trying to start something. Now, for some of you, I'm getting that this could be trying to start something between you and your person. Like if you're in a relationship or even if it's new or whatever, somebody's trying to start something between you and your person, okay? Um... If you're not in a relationship, somebody could be trying to keep somebody from coming toward you, telling people um, lies about you, gossiping about you, trying to make people look at you in a different light, right? Um, they, people, yeah, somebody wants you to look unfaithful, untrustworthy, unstable, I'm getting like, ugh, okay. So... That's the messages that I'm picking up on, guys. So we're going to go ahead and hop into it and see what's going on here. Someone could definitely be coming toward you, trying to start something with you, okay? So let's see what's going on with the collective. Guys, shuffling for the collective. See, tell me who's trying to start something with the collective. Who's talking about lying about gossiping about the collective? What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What do we need to know at this time? Okay, we have Eight of Swords, Gemini energy. Okay. Yeah, there's a part in the song too. Yeah, this is somebody that you maybe walked away from. The Eight of Swords talked about feeling stuck or trapped. All right. And there was a part in the song. Uh, yeah, well, he says, too high to get over, too low to get under, stuck in the middle, and the pain is the thunder. Okay, so, I don't know, somebody feels trapped, somebody's stuck in the middle, somebody may be trying to get you in the middle of something, maybe like an argument or disagreement or something like that, but I see, like, walking away from this situation, you got the eight of cups, which is walking away from something here, okay? <clears throat> what else? We also have 88 here, 88. Somebody could be born in 88 or something about 88, okay? All right. So, yeah, you got the hangman, the queen of wands, the ten of cups, and the five of swords here, okay? So right now I'm looking at um, Gemini, Pisces, double Pisces energy. Somebody could have Pisces in their chart uh, twice, maybe sun, moon, or rising, okay? Um, you have Aries, Pisces, and uh, Aquarius, okay? Okay. 
I'm really getting the energy of somebody being stuck or waiting on something. This has something to do with your family, okay? Um, this can have something to do with kids or somebody that you have kids with. But there's some conflict here in, in this with this five of swords. There's some mm, maybe some type of family situation. Okay. Yeah, ten of pentacles right here showing up. So this could be. So yeah, I see the ten of pentacles here. So this could have something to do with family. So let's see. Why is the eight of swords here? Why is the eight of swords here? The star. Okay, Aquarius energy. Yeah, I'm hearing something about a group of people. And then you have the five of wands on the bottom, which is um, that drama chaos energy. Okay, you got five five showing up here. Some, something about 55. Somebody could be 50, 55. Um, something about August the 8th, March. I mean, uh, May the 6th. Okay. August 10th. October 5th. May 10th. Excuse me. Um... five 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 here it's like somebody has a plan to do something i'm also getting someone going back and forth in their in their head possibly okay okay i split the deck on the empress with the knight of wands and the page of swords so there's definitely somebody who is coming towards you or talking about coming towards you or spying on you watching you but i just got that somebody is talking about your sex life like gossiping about your sex life or your partners or something like that. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the truth, okay? <sighs> Libra Taurus energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Leo, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, okay? But somebody's trying to be successful at some type of plan that they have. I don't know what this plan, it looks like somebody, um, something about some money. You got the seven of pentacles here, which talks about sowing seeds or, um, okay. Yeah, somebody's hoping that you don't get, like hoping and wishing that you don't get some type of money here, okay? Or some type of abundance. And you got 88 here, which talks about, eight talks about abundance, 88, 888, all of that talks about abundance here, right? So, you got somebody here that's like hoping that you don't get this abundance because you got the set from the seven of pentacles to the eight of pentacles. The seven of pentacles talks about planting seeds, sowing seeds, right? And then the nine of pentacles talking talks about um, fulfillment, like reaping what you have sown, getting back the benefits, okay? It talks about things, come, the, whatever seeds you've sown coming into fruition, but then you got the five of pentacles here which talks about um, financial difficulties or leaving somebody out in the cold. Now, you guys could have some type of victory here, some type of win. Maybe you, um, you've you been struggling to, you know, level up financially or level up in some aspect of your life here, okay? You've been putting in the hard work and doing the hard work. And now that you're uh, reaping the benefits of your hard work, now you could be leaving somebody out in the cold, okay? That could be what this is. Somebody could be stressed out over a new beginning or over your happiness or something like that. Or somebody's trying to hide the fact that they're like sad or depressed or something like that. Okay. I'm getting like a mental struggle, like an internal thing almost for some of you. Okay. You were battling something mentally, like going back and forth with yourself about something. And, but I see that you went in, went within, okay? You done some type of healing or some type of soul searching or spiritual work here and you came out of that, okay? Because somebody planned to have you stuck in this nine of swords energy here. That's why we got, we started off with the eight of swords, which talked about being stuck or trapped, okay?
Yeah, that's why we started off with this nine of with this eight of swords energy being stuck or trapped because that's why that's how somebody wanted you to be, okay? But you walked away from this situation here, okay? And I don't know who this is for you. It could be friend, family, um, a lover, ex lover, co. I don't know who this is for you. But if it's resonating with you, then you know, okay, guys. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Support your girl, okay? I really, really appreciate it. It really helps the channel out if you guys resonate with the video and you just hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe. I mean, it doesn't cost anything and it really, really helps the channel to grow and helps me out, okay? So I would really appreciate that, guys, okay? Um, anyways, but yeah, so somebody had a plan to keep you stuck in this nine of swords energy. They wanted you in this nine of swords energy. They wanted you feeling stagnant and feeling sorry for yourself and feeling like, you know, um, feeling depressed and all of that stuff. But you guys came out of that, okay? You did like a 180. You started investing um, in yourself. Some of you started investing your money. Some of you opened new businesses. Some of you just, you know, you got out of that nine of swords mentality with the sun here, okay? Now you're, you're focused on your happiness and focused on yourself here. And I see that. Um, you could have new opportunities coming in. There's some type of wish fulfillment coming in. You got somebody's getting offers of like love and money or something like that. I do see offers coming in for you, but somebody and you uh, walked away from this situation, left this person out in the cold. Okay, whoever this was, um, who was giving very little to the situation. I feel like okay, there were there was no reciprocity in whatever this is. All right. Um, could have, this could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You got Leo, Gemini, whoever this is for you guys, okay? So, yeah. Because I, um, because with this star card falling underneath this, um, feeling stuck, the star card talks about hoping and wishing and wish fulfillment, okay? But this is giving me that somebody was hoping to have you stuck in this Eight of Swords energy, okay? Aquarius, Gemini energy. But you walked away from this situation, okay? Yeah, you guys didn't trust somebody or something like that, okay? Clarify the Eight of Cups, please. Clarify the Eight of Cups. Thank you. Ooh, King of Wands in reverse. Man, somebody who's very controlling. I'm, I'm getting like a bully or something like that. But somebody was in some very controlling energy that you guys walked away from. Sagittarius energy with this King of Wands and then the world card on the bottom closing out a, a chapter, closing out a cycle. Okay. Ace of Cups. It's like you started working on yourself and loving yourself with the Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups. Um, eight of, pinnacles here okay you guys close out this cycle with this person when you walked away from whoever this this <sighs> i just keep getting controlling like this this person this king of wands in reverse is giving me controlling and manipulative and like a bully i don't know i'm getting like a bully but you guys chose to walk away from this and start loving yourself here because this person was trying to put you in illusions here, okay? But I feel like you got away from the situation. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken. Because you have this new beginning, eight of, ace of wands, okay? Or because you walked away from them. Yeah, ace of wands, nine of um, wands on the split. Heavy on the Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. All right. Um, I don't know. I, I want to clarify this King of Wands. Um, let's see. Let me clarify this King of Wands energy. Who's this King of Wands in reverse? Or why is this King of Wands in reverse? Who's this person, this King of Wands in reverse that the collective walked away from? Tell me about this King of Wands in reverse, please. Okay. So, Six of Swords, which talks about moving ahead, okay? You have the Three of Swords that fell in reverse, and then you have the Seven of cups that failed in the reverse here okay so 
yeah, you guys move forward from this person with the six of swords here. This talks about moving forward and overcoming hardships and things like that, okay? This was about your peace here, okay? You could have had conflicts with this person, okay? Again, this person was hoping to keep you stuck or trapped here. And I feel like um, you guys let go of this situation because of some type of clarity that you got about this person or about this situation, okay? You started seeing things clearly. You were not, you were no longer um confused this person could have wanted you in a state of confusion and illusion we saw the seven of cups up right over here so yeah okay i'm picking up on libra aquarius and scorpio energy your sign or theirs or they have this in the chart because you got sagittarius out here too i'm sorry y'all my voice is like whoa But yeah, you guys started seeing something clearly when it came to this person. And that's what caused you to um, walk away from them. Okay. Yeah, strength card on the top with the sun. Okay. Heavy on the Leo energy. So you could be a Leo or you have it in your chart or something about a Leo. But yeah, you guys um, decided to, you know, be strong, get some strength and then be happy. Like move on. Okay. You don't want to deal with this anymore. Why is the... Um, you could have got a new perspective on this person here with this hangman. You started seeing this person in a different light um, or they started showing their true colors or something like that. Okay. Sorry, my lips ashy, my throat dry. <laughs> I don't know what is going on right now. Okay. Let's do the hangman. Clarify the hangman, please. Oh, that is a lot of energy. All right. And it jumped over here. So you got the chariot, which is moving on. You got the three of swords. Now in the um upright right here, it's in the reverse, right? Clarifying this king of wands, it was in the reverse, okay? So, yeah, I feel like this is somebody that you definitely got a different perspective on, okay? You started seeing this person, got clarity, you started focusing, you started seeing this person for who they really were, okay? And the chariot, you moved away from them, okay? You got Pisces Cancer energy here, Libra energy, because this person could have possibly broke your heart or had you in this heartbreak situation, but because you got this clarity, you know, you started healing after you moved on um, from whatever the situation was, okay? You got Ten of Pentacles and the... Uh, nine of wands okay for some of you this is a family situation okay some of you could have had to walk away from a family member or um something like that okay i see 10 10 here you guys could be seeing 10 10 something about 40 or april somebody could be 40 somebody could be 39 okay Something about 93. Somebody could be born in 93 or 90. Or January the 3rd. Okay, January the 9th. Something about those dates. But um, you could have blocked this person with the Nine of Wands here. Or you have your defenses or your guard up against this person. Okay. All right. Let's see. Yeah, page of wands, you got some news coming in, or this person want there's yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So some this person could want to communicate with you, okay? But I feel like for some of you, you do have them blocked here. So they probably can't with this four of cups here. They want to um give you something or offer you something. This could be an apology, but I feel like you're not really focused on that, okay? Um, you don't really wanna have a conversation with them or whatever. Um, for some of them, they feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you, but you got the Ten of Wands here, Four of Cups to the Ten of Wands. Whatever this person is offering, you don't want to deal with it because you know that it comes with baggage or you know that this person comes with baggage or like a lot of just heavy, ener yeah, heavy energy I'm picking up. Okay. Knight of Swords. Yeah. You're like, uh-uh. Just, uh, no. Seven of Swords. I mean, Seven of Wands. You're protecting yourself from this person. Yeah. Okay. So you, this is, you don't really want to deal with this person or talk to this person, whoever this is. And especially if they were sitting in this King of Wands energy, like, I'm, I don't blame you. Yeah, Ten of Swords, this person could have betrayed you in some type of way. Excuse me. Yeah, you could have definitely had an argument with this person. Five of Wands, Ten of Swords, yeah. There, I feel like somebody said, 
Why am I hearing that song? Um, the first cut is the deepest. Somebody had some really harsh words. Somebody um uses their words as weapons, okay? And they said some things that was like, no. And then you even have the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. Like, yes, they're the King and Queen of Wands, but the King of Wands is not standing in his power. The Queen of Wands, which I feel like is you, whoever you are, you could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or um, this, this is just you sitting in your power. Like, you're very... I'm here majestic you're very beautiful you're very talented you're very sexy like you are you're the shit okay okay shout it rock to the beat for your boy shout it you a teen a teen shout it you a teen and look it's sitting right here next to the ten of cups so yeah you're a ten okay and this person is like a five <laughs> with this five of swords here okay like they weren't even on your level they wasn't even standing in their power as the king of wands they were supposed to be your counterpart okay in the upright position but they wasn't even that they was the opposite and i i heard jealous like I, this person could have been jealous of you if this <sighs> God, was this somebody that you guys were dating? I don't know. But Five of Wands, um, there was some conflict, some drama, some chaos here, okay? Yeah, there was no reciprocity in this situation. I'm telling you, with the Six of um, Pentacles to the Two of Pentacles, this person could have been, like, draining your money, using you for money, or um, causing, like, some type of imbalance in your life here, maybe with your finances, um, you could have fought over money with this person, but I also feel like this could be somebody who was juggling you as well, or they were just in it for mm, the finances or something like that, or what they could get out of you. Okay. But you got the death card here that came to an ending here. Okay. You have the, um, you got Leo energy <laughs> right here, Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio energy, and then you got the moon card child. So Yeah. Hmm. I just I, I just heard something about a sticky situation. It's like this person wanted you to be in a sticky situation, like financially. They wanted you to be like penny pinching and or this is their energy or what they were doing, and they this is why they wanted was trying to hold on to you, okay? With the four of yeah, this is why they were trying to hold on to you, okay? Could be a Capricorn, Sagittarius, okay. Ace of Swords, that's the truth. Now here they come with this Page of Cups, small ass offer. This person could be younger than you, okay? Um, yeah, now they want to like come in and celebrate with you or something like that. But I feel like it's just to get you, you know, just to try to confuse you again. And they're going to leave you all sad and drained and whatever. Okay, yeah. You got to move on from this person. This person was hiding something. They could be hiding the fact that they were emotional, um, that they were sitting in this Nine of Swords energy. So they wanted you to be sitting in this Nine of Swords energy because they were, okay? Um, why did I just hear like father, like son, okay? I just heard like father, like son, but that's not what I was trying to say, okay? I see 10, 10, 10 here, okay? Lots of 10s. So this, this situation is over with these 10s here. The 10s talk about um, completion, right? And I just feel like this situation is just over, especially with the death card and the ten of swords coming out. And, you know, they're they're in alignment together. So I definitely feel like you guys ended this situation here. OK, but this person was trying to project their, you know, their insecurities and anxiety and all of this stuff onto you. OK, but this but the nine of swords energy, remember I said at the beginning, you guys were sitting in this nine of swords energy, but this was their clan. Yeah, they wanted to have you in this nine of swords energy, this scarcity energy, this scarcity mindset or just have you afraid of something because this is the mindset that they were in. But they were trying to act like they weren't. OK, yeah. Six of wands devil card on the top with the king of pentacles yeah this was about some type of stability or something like that yeah five of pentacles right here again this person just they were going through some shit they were probably going through some type of addictions or financial issues or they could have been going through issues with their home this person could have been about to get evicted or they were or they did or something like that and i feel like they were trying to confuse you I don't know what this person was trying to do, honestly. I, I do feel like, I do know that they were trying to project the energy that they were feeling on to you, okay? But, I, uh, mm, 
child, child, child. Okay, why is the Queen of Wands here? This person could have used, um, like, sexual manipulation or tried to. Why is the Queen of Wands here? All right, Five of Cups, Six of Cups. So, yeah, not somebody's really regretting something that they did in the past or this past person is sitting in this regret, sadness, loss energy here, okay? Could be an Aries, could be Scorpio, okay? But um, I feel like this person is sitting in this Five of Cups energy right now. They want to reconcile with you with the Six of Cups here, all right? They regret whatever they did, whatever they said, however they made you feel, whatever they tried to do to you, okay? Because I feel like whatever they were trying to do, it, it wasn't working, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, what else is turned over here? Seven of Cups. Yeah. So they were trying to have you in this confused and, you know, this confused energy, um, painting illusions and things like that. Okay. This person could have promised you the Ten of Cups or they could have made it seem like they wanted to have this Ten of Cups with you. But I, I really just feel like this was all like emotional or some type of abuse. Like if it, even if there was no physical, it was like verbal or mental abuse or spiritual or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like they were trying to just confuse you and manipulate you here with this seven of cups. That's what I'm feeling here. <sighs> yeah, this person could have promised you like a new beginning or made you feel like you got you guys were going to have a new beginning here with the fool card and the ace of cups. They could have been telling you that they wanted this ten of cups with you, okay, that they wanted like the family and the home and all of this stuff, right? But I really just feel like, again, it was this person was going through something and I'm hearing like insurance plan, like a backup plan. They just wanted to to know that if something went wrong in their life that they could come to you or they could ha have you as like a backup here, okay? So this person was promising new beginnings here, but they betrayed you here with this Ten of Swords in some type of way, okay? And then this came to an ending here, yeah. But karma's coming back for this person because now I feel like this person could really be juggling um, their finances, could not be doing really well. They could be sitting now in this Nine of Swords energy here, okay? Yeah. And they could be hiding the fact that they are sitting in this energy. Ace of Swords is right here. That's the truth here, okay? Now this person is trying to figure out how they're going to move forward, how they're going to have a new beginning, how they're going to start over, okay? Their love life could not be doing well. Their finances aren't doing well, okay? Um, yeah, there was no equal give and take here. There was no reciprocity. It's like you were the one who was giving to the connection, and this person was just sitting back, taking, 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 but they weren't doing anything here, Okay? So, oh my gosh. Okay, I heard death magic death spells, okay? I uh, I don't really know where that came from, but that's what I heard. Somebody could have really tried to, like, unalive you. With the ten of swords here, the death card and the moon here. Or they, or they was really trying to do something to your fight. I don't know. Somebody was trying to give you some type of, I mean, something about your mental, like this person wanted you to go crazy or this person is telling people that you're crazy or they were or something like that. I'm, I'm getting that somebody really wanted you to be unreliable. Like they're trying to present the fact like you're unreliable, like you're unstable, like you're just crazy out here. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Like this person wanted, has been telling people that you're crazy or unstable or something like that. But I feel like this is the energy that they're sitting in. They try to make someone see some, you know, some people see some things about you. Or they try to unalive you for some of them. And for some people, they just try to, they, they were trying to give you your energy, give you their energy, like I said before. This person was basically trying to, again, projecting their insecurities and their energy onto you. This person could have wanted to swap energies with you. Yeah, look at this. Um, uh, you guys could be a Libra or a Pisces, okay, with the Queen of Swords, Two of Swords here. But look at how um, on this Two of Swords, 
See how she's got the swords crossed? And it's almost like swapping. Like, that's how you swap something. So somebody could have definitely wanted to swap energies with you. Like, somebody wanted you to be sitting in the energy that they were sitting in. They wanted you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn. We, we there now. Because this person, that's why they're sitting in the Queen of Wands energy in the reverse and you're sitting in the queen of wands energy but in the upright this person could have tried to present themselves as your soulmate your ten of cups your whatever whatever okay but yeah they wanted to swap they wanted you to be in the um reverse position so they could be in the upright position okay so ugh, okay yeah that's what this is so they wanted you to basically go crazy so that's what this three of swords is about i feel like this person tried to hurt you so that um it's like they you know they can't they come in this is like somebody who came in and they were like oh you're so great you're so sweet i really like you da, 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 da. um i think we i could see something with you i think we could build a future together like somebody who just feed you a bunch of crap right and then <laughs> their 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 goal the whole time is to have you in the three of swords nine of swords energy to have you stuck or trapped okay they could have tried to have you stuck on them all right but they definitely wanted you in this trap energy they were wishing and hoping and praying that something worked here okay they had a plan to put you in some type of stuck energy i don't know if they wanted you to just be stuck on them and then you like lose focus of everything else that you have going on so then they break your heart and then you're going to be all up in this despair and you can't live and how do i go on without you because you're not talking to me and i can't do anything and then your finances started to go to go down you know your life starts to fall apart all because of them and this is what they wanted for you because they felt like if they could put you in that energy for you to lose focus then somehow that positive energy and all the good things in your life would transfer to them like what child why does ten of cups here this motherfucker right here. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> this could have been a collaborative effort, okay? Um, with the three of pentacles here. Yeah, three of wands here. Something about 33. Somebody could be 33. Um, yeah, somebody could be 43. Something about 33. You guys could be seeing 33 a lot. Or 333. Yeah. I feel like this was a, a collaborative effort. This had something to do with emotions. Because I see you guys sitting in this Queen of Queen of uh Wands, Queen of Cups energy. Okay. Very attractive, very nurturing. Um, very family oriented here with this ten of cups here. Okay, you could have children. Okay, you could be a single mom here with this um, one queen or something like that. But you could um, have children or have family or be very you know nurturing, loving, just caring person, right? But you look good too. <laughs> All right, and I feel like you guys like to work with people. Like you. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really feeling like this was a collaborative effort of some sort. And these three people came together to try to do something. At least three people. Maybe three to six people for some of you. But And then they just sat back and waited. Like with the three of um, wands. Okay. Let's see. Why is this five of swords here? Okay, the hermit. So I feel like you guys are healing from this situation or you have healed. What's the hermit? You guys could have been dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius. Yeah. Not a wands. Ugh. Yeah, the moon. This is somebody who just was trying to come in and like sleep with you. And they thought that that was going to make you fall in love with them so that they could hurt you or something like that. Nine 
Not a wand. This is a manipulative person, though. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Because they wanted to... They wanted you to be in this Five of Pentacles energy, or this is them. They were in this Five of Pentacles energy. You got Gemini energy here, heavily, okay? With the King of Swords and the um, Ten of Swords, okay? Child. Yeah, it's like somebody wanted to, like, mess with your confidence. Yeah, because they were trying to steal your... Still your destiny or your energy or something like that, man. Somebody wanted to, like, somebody was constantly doing something and then sitting back and watching, waiting, see if it will work, okay? They were, um, somebody could have stole something from you. I'm getting a little bit at a time. Somebody could, like, have, like, your hair or an item of your clothing or something that you touched or gave to them. Something like that, child. They, they use something. Because I am I am kind of picking up on the spell word shit. Yeah. Ugh, what the hell? I just feel like you guys are protected from this. But yeah, somebody, they wanted your, um, they wanted you to lack confidence, okay? They wanted to weaken you so that they could, you know, do what they were trying to do. Have you with this Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords energy. Four of Swords, okay? They, ugh. This person's watching you. Mm -hmm. They sit back and they watch you. They'll do something to you. They'll throw something out there, whether it's spell work, whether it's um, manipulation of words, or whether it's trying to get in your energy and make you pop off. Remember I said somebody wanted to be starting something. So this person, this is the type of person who will try to like come into your energy. They'll try to get you all riled up. Or if that doesn't work, they'll come in and they'll try to have sex with you and then they'll leave again. And you know what I'm saying? They just, they just want you to be down however they can do however they can put you down or make you feel sad or down yeah they want to do that yeah remember this is somebody who will come in and offer their love to you or offer something to you okay tell you that they feel this type of way or they think you're such a great person or something like that okay but then just to have you putting this nine of swords ten of wands tower energy to try to cause tower moments in your life here so that you don't have a new beginning Um. Okay. Who is this person? All these people. Holy Spirit. Look. Damn, didn't I say something about your destiny? Swapping destiny and swapping your energy and all that. Will of fortune, okay? This is about karma and it's about your destiny, okay? It's child of... Mm. The wheels are turning, I'm telling you, whatever they, whatever energy they were trying, whatever they were trying to do to you, and especially if they were already sitting in this energy, now it's even worse because they was trying to like swap. Why do I have swap souls or swap spirits with you? Like that is so weird. Okay. Who is this person? Are these people? Who are these person? Are these people that was trying to uh, manipulate or confuse the collective? Almost. Who is this that was trying to manipulate or confuse the collective and swap their energy? You know, whatever they were trying to do. Okay, you got um. Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, okay, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you got Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, this is about closing a chapter or breaking a cycle here with the world card, this is about something, a chapter coming to an end, a closing chapter and something new beginning here, okay, yeah, it's like they were trying to close out your cycle and then they wanted, like, it to roll over to them. They wanted the Wheel of Fortune to roll around in their favor. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. But I feel like things are working out in your favor now. 
Okay. It's not telling me who these people are, though. somebody's coming back for more so yeah it could be this person trying to come back in and start something with you somebody's coming back for more that's what i just heard okay yeah they're coming back in to try to um present something new in this full energy okay they're trying to i'm hearing make amends or act like they remember i said they wanted to reconcile here but it's only to come in and try to confuse you again so, yeah, I feel like this person is coming in to try again, okay? They're going to come in all shiny and like a new penny and thinking that, you know, trying to present themselves in a different light or a different energy, trying to plant more seeds this time, okay? Trying to plant more seeds, seven of pentacles, but they're sitting in this devil energy. This is somebody who is toxic and they could have some type of addictions here, but this is somebody who's just toxic, man. Yeah. You got the magician showing up here with the Queen of Pentacles. And then you got um <laughs> so uh heavy on the Capricorn energy. All right. Taurus, Gemini, Virgo. Um, you got Libra Gemini Aquarius energy out here. You got man, whoever this is, y'all know if y'all resonate with this, y'all know who it is. Okay, probably. Because this person, yeah, the magician, they're trying to come in and have you in this indecisive energy again. Okay. They want to slow some things down for you. With the Knight of Pentacles here. This person might come in talking about they choose you or they want to be with you or something like that, okay? But they're working on something. Or this is you guys. <laughs> okay. Let's, um, all right, let's see what this deck wants to give me. Tell me about the energy of this person who's trying to come in and start drama or chaos or whatever it is that they're trying to do. Excuse me. So I investigate. I'm getting somebody just trying to be nosy. Like they're coming back into your life. Because I don't feel like you're talking to this person. So they're coming back into your life to try to be nosy. See what you have going on. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of the deck right here. It says promises that never come true. Empty words and not living in the now. So remember I said this person could have been somebody who was promising you like, oh, we're going to do this or, or leading you on, making you feel like, you know, it was going to be something when they really knew it wasn't. OK, yeah, that's the energy of this person. OK, promises that never come to be and empty words. All right. And that's what they're coming in with. The same damn thing. All right. Um, March the 5th could be significant. Somebody could be 35 messages, please. Hold on, y'all. Cards don't want to do right. Messages. Do not drink the poison. Do not do things <laughs> that you know are bad for you. A uh i.e. this person 44 14 on the timer. Okay, don't deal with this person. They coming in poisonous as a mother freaking snake. I'm telling you. Don't deal with this person. What else? You could be um, dreaming about this person. This person could be um, showing up in your dreams. I 
I feel like you guys are real grounded or there's or your spirit is telling you that you need to get more grounded, okay? Somebody could be 45, something about April the 5th. Oh, this is also number eight, okay? This card, remember I said eights are significant. 888 is out here. So there's some type of abundance that's coming to you guys here, okay? And this person could know that. That could be why they're coming back around, child. They see you as, you know, having something that they don't have or something that they need or something that they want or something like that, okay? Yeah. They trying to come back around, coming home. Okay. Yeah, create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. Forty number uh forty three. Somebody could be forty three. Um. Yeah, it's like. Don't let this person get under your skin. It's basically, okay, create your own happiness regardless of the conditions. Yeah, this person's going to try to come in and, like, again, this is the type of person that can only be fake for so long, right? You already done seen their true colors. You already had some type of clarity. For some of y'all, y'all not even, not, like I said, you probably have this person blocked or you're just not even going to bother talking to them anyway. But this is for any situation. Just, like, be glad. Don't let nobody get you riled up about anything, okay? Because this is what they want. They, If they can lower your vibrations, then they feel like they can, you know, weaken you, lower your vibrations. They feel like they can swoop in and, you know, take whatever or do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what they're trying to do anyway. They're going to get some type of satisfaction from lowering your vibration. So while you're lowering yourself to their standards, then that they the plan for that is the for your positive energy to go to, to them okay let me just show y'all on this wheel okay so this is where they are at the bottom of the wheel with their low vibrations this is where you are so every time they can come in and make you mad and get you upset and things like that and put you put you down here on this door vibration then they go up to the top this is their plan this is what they want they want the transference of energy between you two okay because they're sitting in low vibrational energy they want you in low vibrational energy but they're just trying to they're thinking that if child y'all get it i hope y'all get it they're they're thinking that if they can lower your vibrations then that positive energy that you had now it's negative energy and now the positive energy is transferring onto them okay anything else but that's what they're trying to do that's the plan okay that's the plan, Stan. That's it, okay? Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm getting... Don't take any phone calls from this person. Don't reply to any text messages from this person, okay? Do not let this person get you, um, like, riled up or anything like that, okay? Let's do some final messages from the Kipper deck. And then I am out. If you guys would like a personal the, um, information you can email me um in ugh. if you guys would like a personal you can email me my email is in the description box okay if you guys have a question that you like answer you can hit me up on wizio that information is there the link is there also for wizio okay let's wrap this message up holy spirit tell me what this person's plans are or were or will be toward um, the collective. Tell me about this person's plans for the collective. Child, that was on the bottom of the deck and now it's right here, marriage. This person gonna ask you to marry them? What else? Tell me. <laughs> okay, you got mature woman. It fell out in the reverse. I don't know. I'm going to read these cards in reverse, but it fell out in the reverse, okay? So for some of you, it could be a mature woman. For some of you, it's not a mature woman, okay? And mature, I'm getting is just older maybe, okay? Somebody could be 36, something about um, March the 6th. I think I said that earlier. Um, And uh, June the 3rd, okay? What else? What is this person plans for the collective? Ooh, 
some of you, you could be a married, mature woman, or this person is, okay? You got a wealthy man here, concern, and courthouse. Mm. Lots of threes here, okay? You guys could definitely be seeing lots of threes. January the 3rd, March the 3rd, um, February the 3rd. You have, somebody could have a 13, 6, or a 3-year-old. You have um, somebody could be 33 or 23. 33 is coming out here again, okay? You got a house showing up here. Somebody could work from home. There's a man, a wealthy man, who's concerned about court, who's concerned with something about court documents or court papers or a court hearing, okay, or something like that, okay? Somebody could also be concerned about a marriage, about somebody trying to marry somebody. Oh, goodness gracious. What is this? Hmm. Anything else? Okay, nothing else is coming out. This has something, um, you got a child here. So this could be somebody that you have a child with. This could be a baby mom or baby dad for you, okay? Um, this I'm also hearing a child's grandmother. So this could be your child's grandmother on either side, okay? Something about that. You have the number 18 here. Um, January the 8th here. You got distant horizon. So this is like something that's coming up in a distant horizon. Um, I don't know what this is, but that's what I got for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed the reading. And um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I will see y'all in the next one. Okay. Until then, peace, love, prosperity, and abundance to y'all. Bye.